And what better? You know what? You need some food after you've worked out. You need some good you grub, John. What have we got? Yes, you do. So we're going to be doing um, a really lovely... I've got to try and say this properly without saying a brand name. Yes. Puffed rice or crispy rice chicken. OK, I get you. <sighs> I know it. where you're coming from. I did it. <laughs> without... Um, yeah, with a really Looks lovely good. blue cheese Stilton sauce. So mm. it's, it's gorgeous. It's dead easy as well. So, so in here... It's for grown-ups, this. It's for grown-ups and yes. kids, but you could change the sauce. But I'll talk more about that in a bit. Sure. So in here I've got the mini chicken fillets, which okay. is the lazy man's option. Or you could just chop up your own breasts. Not your breasts, but <laughs> your own chicken breasts. If you wanted to, <laughs> sorry, love, um, do it in with some buttermilk, which is, <laughs> you can use buttermilk or you could use um, <laughs> yogurt if you can't find the buttermilk. So okay. in with your buttermilk and then just stir that through. And this is an enzymatic marinade, so it helps to really tenderize the chicken. Right. So leave that for an hour or even overnight in the fridge if you wanted to. Oh. Leave that to do its thing. Right. And then over here, I've got my rice cereal. Yes. And all I'm going to do is, in this bag, just crush it. Ooh, that's so satisfying, isn't really, it? really, really <laughs> satisfying. Perfect bit of uh, energy, stress relief. <laughs> just crush it, and then once it's... Some's a bit rubbery, some's a bit powdery. Yeah. You don't want to completely pulverise it. Oh, OK. But once it's just crushed up a bit, that's good to go. So you can pop that in okay. into a tray like that. And then all I'm going to do is get my marinated chicken and then with some tongs, just dip it into, I'll just do two for now, two okay. or three for now, just to show you, so you get the gist. Sure. Dip it into there. Coat it really well in the crispies. Uh-huh. Which is going everywhere. That's all right. And the buttermilk helps to stick those. So rather right. than going through egg, through flour, mm. through all these dip-ins, just dip it in the buttermilk and then into there and then into the pan. That's really clever. And That's whenever like you... crispy chicken. But... It's crispy chicken. Easy. An easy crispy chicken. Easy. And you can do it with, with uh, cornflakes as well. That works. The Americans use cornflakes a lot for deep fried chicken. Mm. We're not deep frying though here. We're, no, we're no, no, because we don't do that. <laughs> and um, yeah, so but whenever you put anything in a pan like this, think of it as a clock. Start at 12 o'clock, move your, work your way around, and then that way, when you come to turn it over and flip them, you'll know where to start again. Oh, that's so you're a good not sort idea. Of confusing yourself with the no, pan. No, no, got you. No, that makes sense. So they fry for a few minutes per side, just until a bit crispy and lovely. Yum. And once they are, you can take them off and pop them onto some kitchen towel just to get the lot the excess grease off. Sure. So you know you can get rid of the most of that grease that's off good. there. Mm. And then my favourite part, the sauce, which I use not just for this, but for pizzas and things like that, all sorts mm. of stuff, because it really is amazing. It's just some Stilton cheese or Santa Gior or whatever blue cheese you like, okay. really strong one. Right. Because that, it's that classic thing of blue cheese and spicy dip. So oh, in yeah. with the blue cheese, uh -huh. in with the buttermilk, yep. again, or natural yoghurt would work fine, Greek yoghurt would be great. Okay. And then my favourite thing from Thailand, sriracha, sriracha, which is a spicy, garlicky, Sauce and it is it packs quite a oh, punch. Oh, I like the amount that you're putting on. What if that, what if you can't get hold of that? If you Any don't chili like sauce this, too? well, actually, Dean did a great recipe on Monday for uh, tomato. So I snuck into his house la last night, <laughs> raided his fridge, stole all his clothes, <laughs> and um, used his sauce. So you could use his sauce for the kids. Could that be really good? It's on the website. On the website. Excellent. But all you need to do with this is just blitz it and blend it, and it comes together in seconds. And it's a dead easy chilli sauce. That's fantastic. So I'm going to let you try this. Oh, so I'm going to bring over the plate of chicken. Thank and I'll you. bring over a little bit of salad as well just Ooh, to make it lovely. Look healthy. That's good. Can okay, I just pick there. this up though and dip it in? Yeah, it might be hot, I think so that's be that you do it. Mm. But I love it. It really is great. And that sauce, mm, 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 mm. it really does pack mm. that punch, doesn't it? It's great. That's fantastic. It's so tasty. It's great on a butty as well. You know, if there's some left over, put it on the kids' butties. They'll have mm. a shock when they open the lunchbox with that spice. <laughs> It's a bit been, spicy, been naughty, but that'll you know. do. God, that's, that is mm. absolutely gorgeous.